1.72 to go. Sarah, Patty and Dwayne. Seriously? Yes. It's ruined it for me, don't you think? Yeah. Come on. I don't think the 1001 Greatest Hits of All Time starting Boxing Day 9am will ever be the same again with you singing along to that particular song it's in the studio. It's not been helped along, has it, sir? That was from my mate Dave Thompson. He loves the boss too. Does yeah. he? Hey, Dave. It's also embarrassing because we've got a guest in the studio, boys, who can actually sing. And how embarrassing for poor Bryce to walk into that. He's our 2GO voice of Carol's winner in the over-18s. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bryce, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. Uh, Bryce, uh, a young, impressionable mind, a songwriter of already uh, emerging repute. Mm. In fact, running classes on songwriting, musicianship and some other stuff locally. And if you, we'll give you all the goss in a minute. But Bryce, opening thoughts now that you've joined us in the studio. <laughs> Paddy Gerard, new to the 2GI Breakfast Show. Mm. It's interesting. Yeah, it's, yeah. Interesting there's, there's a word. Did you want to do a duet tomorrow night? Sure. Done. On. Done. Liam Burrows and me and Bryzy. High five, brother. Yeah. There we go. On. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, but no, seriously, uh, talking about people who can sing, Bryce, thank you so much for putting your entry in. We had so many votes for you. It was just incredible. Thank you so much. And we really, yeah, it was, it was so much fun. We're going to do it again. And I love the, uh, the fact that we had the two categories with the under-18s and the over-18s. Tell us about um, your love of music because you were lucky enough to do Years 11 and 12 with music specifically in mind, weren't you? Yes, I went to the Australian Institute of Music in Sydney for Year 11 and 12 and that was um, a decision that it took me about three years to convince my parents to make to send me to a Sydney school and it was great. Like Having so much focus on music was, enabled me to really come out of my shell because I was... Um, a very shy performer. Right. And just being around it all the time, like we'd have, like, concert prac was a subject and we'd go in there and once a week you'd have to get up and sing and perform in front of everyone. And just and doing so it. And so do that every week for two years and eventually it becomes, like, second nature kind of thing and it really prepared me for everything else that's come since then. Yeah, so this wow. was your own glee moment. Really. Yeah. Same yeah. kind of vibes. Yeah, same kind yeah. of vibe. Yeah. Wow. Well, that's... What's that's a spoil, isn't it, guys? Yeah. Like, what style of music? Um, country music, yeah. Yeah. Really, Love it. Really picked that up um, probably about four or five years ago, and it wasn't until... Because um, I used to listen to it all the time, but mm -hmm. then I used to just sing, like, normal music, and then I kind of just... Got came about. Yeah. And how was that at school? Did the, the gang get into it as much as you did, did you? Not really. No. Um, it was definitely a lot different to what everybody else... Um, what they Likes. were choosing. Be um, your own person, people. That's Yeah, awesome. well, be your own person. I agree, Bryce, and I, I grew up in a family that did country. We, My dad was in a band, and we all went out, and, you know, we, the whole scene was just just so cool. I loved it, and so family-orientated as well. And I think for a young person to say, you know what, I'm going to do country, it's just awesome. You know, there's some great stuff, and Keith Urban leading the way for Australia really now, which is, yeah. which is great for for the young person to look up to and say, yeah, I can do that. That's good. The words are so awesome. And it used to be that it was all about, you know, your, your cat ran away and you lost your your, your dog and, and <laughs> the then... The truck's up on trucks. The, the truck, yeah, all yeah. that. But it's not that. It's so good. You know, the musicality of it is incredible. So tell me, when we said to you this morning, are you a bit nervous about carols tomorrow night because it's a sellout show? Yeah. Blue Tongue Stadium, you on stage. You were so cool. You said, nah, I'm fine with that. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll get nervous tomorrow. I usually get nervous about half an hour before when it all starts to sink in. But once I get on stage, everything just be kind of comes yeah, yeah. natural. And I just, like, I love it. There's no other place I'd rather be. And I'm so looking forward to tomorrow. It's going to oh, be Oh, we are too. And this will be one of your biggest crowds that you perform to. Definitely the biggest. Yeah. Definitely the biggest. Wow. Okay. And you too, Paddy, because this will be, yes, you'll be up on yeah, stage. First, yeah, yeah. Bryce and I singing. Not Probably. singing, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> he said yes, sir. Just give us a little bit of baby we born to run. A good impression. <laughs> <laughs> And wait, you also got workshops over the holidays as well. Yeah, I started teaching at the Warwick School of Music um, about oh, a month ago now, or a couple months ago, and we're doing some workshops in the holidays to try and get like people from the public to come in and you know try things out. We've got an open day, which is going to be great, and it's basically you can ring up um, and book, or you can um, kind of show up on the day. There'll be a couple of like show and spots, and there's we've got over five days we've got like a different workshop on each day to do with singing guitar songwriting and all that sort of stuff and then there's like an open day where you can basically come in and you can do the run around and you can learn 
whatever you want on the wow. day kind of thing and just, you know, have a starter thing and if you like it, come back for lessons. Great. That is so cool. So don't sit at home doing nothing on the holidays because it's a long break for the it kids. Is. It really is. I'm and sure. and to, to be able to say, you know what, I'm going to head out and try that. Not you, Patty, but, you know, people that have got a bit of <laughs> talent. Um, and, and say, I'll give it a go. You just don't know where it's going to lead, do you? Yeah, no, exactly. And... Like, if it wasn't for my parents going, oh, I think you should learn an instrument, start learning guitar, or whatever, I wouldn't be yeah. into music as much as what I am. As a, you- as a winner for the over-18s category for 2GO's Voice of Carols this year, what advice would you give some folks who would like to enter next year? Do it. Seriously, I entered in going, oh, it's a quick, easy entry. You may as well, you know, pop it in. You never know what's going to happen, kind of thing. And then when I found out that I was in the final, I just went and annoyed everybody so I apologised <laughs> to everybody and I apologise my, my dad went around to literally everybody in the street and just said hey can you vote for him and that's basically you just have to put yourself out there have a go and, uh, Bribery works. Bribery it does. works. It does. But it does. you know, for, for parents listening in, um, if you've got the teenagers and they're driving you up the wall because they do get bored, you know, it's it's really crazy time for, for everybody concerned at the house. I think there's a couple of sanity savers. One is sport yep. and the other is music, music, definitely. So think about that this holidays. We're going to love seeing you on stage, young man. I can't wait. It's going to be fantastic. I can't wait. And really um, awesome. we really, really thank you for, for putting your entry in and, and we encourage, as you said, others to do the same when we do this again the voice of